the reason we emphasize machines and technology is to free man to go to art centers, music centers, cultural centers, and to find the meaning of their own existence and lives. Jacques Fresco, interview take four. Let's take a look at this beautiful body of futuristic visionary work. Come on. What do you think of when you contemplate the future? Well, we're finding out what Jacques Fresco, a futurist, thinks about that. You may not have heard of Jacques Fresco, but he is known around the world. Documentaries have been done about him. He has a plan to build an entire new world from the ground up. Magazine writers from Europe have written stories about it. I've come to the other side of the world, to Florida, to meet a man who has a very clear vision of what he thinks the future of cities should look like. Offering an architectural plan for human beings, technology, and nature to coexist and create a sustainable future. He's a social engineer, industrial engineer, designer, inventor. Who truly believes the ills of society can be cured only if we throw away the rules that govern it and ourselves. But to do it Jacques' way, there would be no communism, no capitalism, everyone living together in one world, sharing everything. If you were to describe yourself, what would you say? I just about have to call myself a social engineer because I'm not just interested in architecture and learning theory and human behavior, but I am interested in all aspects of the earth and people, people mostly. I'm not too interested in technology, although it may seem that I advocate that. In actuality, all the wonders of technology to me are just so much junk unless it makes humans better.